I'm gonna go rob a bank. Oh, Batman. What's up, you guys? Nate here. Welcome to Brick Tech. Today, I'm coming at you with another review. Today, I'm reviewing this right here. This is the Bat vs. Uh, Bane Tumblr Chase. This is set number 76001. As of the making of this video, um, online, this set costs about $80. As of, uh, as of the making of this video, um, it's been retired for three or four years. I think when it was first released, it was about $50. This set has a pretty big sticker sheet. It only has, um, to me, I'm not sure. I'll see in as I get into this set, but as I'm looking at it right now, it only has one printed piece. And um, it also comes with these barricades. I'll get into that um, right about now. Here's a quick 360 degree view of about two thirds of this set. This is the tumbler along with some barricades uh, and Commissioner Gordon. Uh, the tumbler is kind of disappointing. It's a very good build, but it is a bit disappointing in the fact that it's, um, I don't know, I don't really have the words for it. it there's just something that doesn't look like the tumbler. Here's the last little bit of this set. This is the, uh, bat i believe this is the uh dlc version of the batwing or the newer version of the batwing rather it um went downhill in my opinion because the batwing from the michael keaton movie in 1989 it actually looked like the bat logo and it was called the bat the batwing because it looked like that i know this is something completely different but I wish that they had put that element into the movie and into the set. Another thing I don't really get about this set is it's got blue highlights, which the bat was completely black. Here's Commissioner Gordon. I'll get back to the tumbler and the uh, bat in a minute, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to the minifigures. Um, this is a completely new version of Commissioner Gordon. Unlike in the movie where he had his, just his suit, he's got a SWAT outfit. He's got the same hairpiece that uh, Tony Stark has had in a bunch of other sets. It says SWAT on the front and the back. And he also has a double-sided face. Which, um, I, I can't really describe it. I guess it's just kind of like a perturbed look. Like Bane's coming at him and he's kind of scared. And here's the barricades. Uh, which do have stickers on both of them. Uh, they do also have the uh, construction stripes and bullet holes there, there, and there. The build that is used for to build them is a very good utilization of bricks. Got some light, nice light bricks on the top. And um, personally. I mean, I don't really use them a lot, but it is a nice addition to the set. And you could, if you're playing with the set out in the open, like on a on a table or something, you could get some nice um, added graphics and stuff with these barriers. Back to the tumbler, it is a very nice addition to the set. Um, there are a few things I don't really understand, like. Right here on the sides, there's some pistons represented in uh, stickers, which I don't really need uh, know why those need to be there. Also, there's some uh, trans orange pieces on both sides. And another very, very, very big problem I have with this tumbler in particular is it. The uh, tumbler had a split windshield. It had one. Uh, piece of glass on one side and another on the other side and it had a nice metal bar in the middle which made you which made it feel to me it made it feel like it was kind of alive and it, that was kind of its eyes but here all they did to try to represent that was just put a, a cheese slope right there which doesn't really help in my opinion there's also some Bane style uh, stickers right on the front and on the top there's a basic chassis for a Lego city car in the middle. 
that this whole thing is built around. And if you remember, the tumbler had no front axle. It just had two piece, uh, two metal pieces that came down from the side, or that came across from the sides and connected to the front tires. And there was a big gap in between them that allowed the two tires to separate and to transform into the bat pot. But what LEGO has done here, it's very, very good in my opinion to represent the same thing. They put an axle in the middle that's black so it's not very noticeable up against the, the black tires. Uh, and they also put wing piece, sort of wing shaped pieces on either side. On the back it has a jet thruster with a nice little flame coming out. Uh, which I don't really understand because it would only use the jet thruster when it was jumping. Then again, on the box, the, uh, the, uh, picture art on the box, it was in a midair jump, kind of, so I guess that's why they added this piece in there. And, if you remember, if you've seen the movie, you would remember that the tumbler had two tractor tires on either side of the rear, um, axle. Here... It just has like drag dragster tires and there's only two of them there's not four of them in a row a pretty cool feature it if I say so myself is this right here you can flip these up all the way then reach down and flip these up and it has flick fire missiles all you do is flick them and it shoots them off into oblivion except for that with this set, these right here are supposed to be windows, which, but I don't really understand why they don't put, like, a clear piece in there. There's plenty of room for it right under this piece, this, uh, 4x1 right here. Um, I don't really understand why they didn't put a uh, glass piece in there. I guess it was just to stay a little in the budget. I don't know how expensive it is for them to make clear pieces but um I can imagine how it would be kind of expensive and as with a lot of Lego superhero sets this opens up all you have to do is flip that open and this guy is revealed You're just reach in there pull him out and that brings us to our next minifigure here is Bane um he's a pretty cool minifigure uh, I haven't seen Dark Knight. I've just seen a few uh, little pieces of it, like a few little uh, scenes, and, and I've also seen that with the movie. This is from The Dark Knight Rises, but um, the clips I have seen with Bane, this is very similar, except for the arms being bare. He did have sleeves, I think. He's got a nice uh, sort of looking military grade. Uh, a harness right there on his chest. He's got gray pants. And one thing I do not get at all, though, is why one hand is black and the other hand is just bare skin like nougat. I mean, why would he just wear one glove? It, if you guys know, like I said, I haven't seen the movie yet, go down in the comments below if you know and tell me why he's only got one glove. He's got that same harness on the back of his torso, and he's got some. He's also got some nice uh, print on the back of his head. I guess that's to simulate tubing and stuff to make him more muscular. And he's also got what looks like a support belt around his uh, stomach. He's got a little steering wheel in there for him to drive, but he does not. A uh, quick note: he does not have any console whatsoever. No speedometer. Nothing. So he can't tell how fast he's going if he's going over the speed limit. And that's probably why Batman pulled him over in the back. To put Bane inside the tumbler, it does help to take off the windshield. And there's his seat. So what you have to do, flip his arms up and his legs all the way up. Set him in there. Uh, get him to set back. It can be a little tricky at times. Hold his legs down and lean him back and lean his uh, arms forward, put the windshield back on, flip it down, and you're ready to go. I'm gonna go rob a bank. Oh, Batman! Here's the bat. 
very, very, very good design. Colors, not so much, but other overall, it's a very good design. Looks very similar to the bat in, in the movie. The arms right here that hold the propellers are very poseable. You can get all sorts of different uh, directions with them. I, sometimes I just like to have them straight out to make it look like tandem uh, machine guns. To open this thing up, all you have to do is flip this up, and that reveals our final minifigure. Here he is, the Dark Knight, the man of the bats, Batman. Uh, he's not the best Batman minifigure I've ever seen. There are a few out there that top this by far, but the unique thing about this Batman is he's got some nice golden and silver printing on the torso. And he's also, I believe this is the first Batman set to have that new Bat logo. And will someone tell me in the comments below what good eyes are on a, on a face that doesn't come with hair and has a headband and that wears a bat, a bat helmet all the time. I've never understood that about Batman minifigures. And I don't think I ever will. He's got a black waist and um, just plain old uh, black gloves and gray legs and arms. He's got the uh, very, very, very old material used for the capes. And um, it's not like the flexible, it's more like a paper texture. It's not like the newer, uh, um, I can't, I can't really under, uh, say, I'm not sure what the word for it is, um, textile. It's not the, more of a textile, uh, texture to it. This Batman does have a double-sided face. He looks sort of like a, a look he, the look he had in the Lego Batman movie. And he's got, uh, that same utility belt gold print going all the way around to the back. Um, I don't un understand, again, I don't understand why there's printing on the back if you're not going to see it because the cape's in the way. But it is, it does have some nice printing on the back if you want to do like an uncaped version of Batman. Like maybe the wind coated it off. And to put Batman back in the back, you just flip open the cockpit. Make sure his legs are all the way up. And his arms are about halfway up. Put him on. Put them on in there and close it back. Another cool thing, I think they were very, very um, smart in doing in this set is they allowed a second minifigure, specifically uh, Commissioner Gordon, to be put in the back. So you just open the cockpit back up, flip his arms and legs up, just like so, uh, remove his weapon and put him it's probably better to put him in before you put in batman so let me take out batman real quick there we go let's put him right back there he can be a little tricky to put in you just press his legs down and put batman back in there just like that close it back Unlike Bane, Batman actually has a console so he can have a targeting system and stuff. Right smack dab on the front of the bat is a bat, the bat logo to be specific. And um, that is a sticker. Um, as I said, this set has many si uh, stickers and that that console that Batman has, I, I'm pretty sure is about the only uh, stick uh, printed piece in the whole set. The propulsion propellers out here also have to the on either side of them they have missiles and machine guns these are just these are just props right here but the missiles do actually shoot all you need to do to shoot the flick fire missiles as with Bane's tumbler just flick them you do that on both sides and you'll probably lose both of them but I do believe they give you some parts to make a few more these uh, pieces right here that co help cover and conceal the arms do move up and down. They can they can go all the way up or all the way down. 
and it's got those same wing pieces in uh, a different color that we see on Bane's tumbler right here. They can move up and down a little and the tips of the wings right here do move in, up and down a little as well. Uh, like I said before, th a lot of this set has blue highlights, which again, I don't understand because the bat was black. This set also has propellers on both sides. I don't really understand that too e or either because the propellers on the bat were facing downward, but that's an easy fix. All you have to do, it does limit the arms movement a little. You can't move them as far back, but all you need to do is pop them out and rotate them uh, downward on both sides. It's pretty easy to do, very, very, very easy fix. And boom, it's even more accurate. And if you want to, you can actually put some more flip fire missiles right there. Maybe uh, put some studs on the front of them and make them look like uh, flares or something. For some reason, it has a red piece right here. Like it, it doesn't really uh, catch your eye if you're looking at it from the front. It doesn't actually from the front. It doesn't catch your eye at all. Um, it does catch your eye a little from the sides, but if you look at it from the back, that's one of the very first things that you see when you look at it out of the corner of your eye. This piece right here is a nice little addition. I'm glad they threw it in there. All you have to do is it connect. It connects directly to the bat. All you have to do is put it on Commissioner Gordon's hand like so. Like, well, if I can ever get it on, might have to time lapse this. Okay, I've got him connected now. Uh, all I, but once you've got him connected. All I can, all you have to do is pick it up, and he can like hold on to the rope and shoot it at Bane from the air, from the air. In between the wings, it does have a sticker right there and there. And Lego did a good job right here. They made it kind of look like a rib cage with a bunch of mech uh, fingers. They did that on both sides, and it really looks like a rib cage. The tail right here sort of looks like a tail wing on a plane. And it does have some rocket thrusters right there on the back. And the wings can move up and down a little right next to the rocket thrusters. And the whole tail can move up and down as well. Uh, all in all, guys, it's a pretty good set. Detailing isn't that great in my opinion, especially on the tumbler. And I, don't, I still, I don't know why the, the bat has blue highlights. It was all black in the movie. But other than that, it's a very good set. I recommend you uh, find a place that has it within your budget and pick it up as soon as you can. But that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell down in the description below. And I'll see you next time on Brick Tech. Bye bye